Hey, this is Evil Death Fan 102 back with more. Let's play Jinx Part 3. And in this part, we are going to finish the session off. So what we have to do basically now is if you take that, take that ride up here, it will now allow you to go back down and use this to get a lot of extra stuff. Basically, stars and, and basically an extra life if you can get it. I got the life! And we can land on here. And now we can continue. Okay, um, more stars to collect. That's collecting pretty well. Okay, um, no more stars around here. What's this gonna tell you? Warning! No commoners may swim in the moat. By order of Princess Bam. Indeed. Um, just jump up here to cut these stars. More lives are better, as we already did lose two lives, but we've sort of got to pick up again. Proving that lives are actually easier to get in this game. Watch out for cannonballs. So far, I mean, and see, that's how that's what it basically did. Okay, um, it killed the enemy for me easier without having me to actually face it. I will probably be using the things I, I collect a lot. Okay, this is the first official character of the game. Um, before I get to him, let me just say. Learn to swim, swim using the X button, triangle was seen when you come underneath, and X to jump out near the edge. Basically simple controls for swimming. Now, this is the first character of the game. What's he want? Hey Jinx, my name is Barrett, I'm here to help you on your quest. Remember doing a good deed for, for, for people you meet can help you on your journey. Will you help me Jinx? Yes, we will help you. Thank you. I uh, lower the lower the drop drawbridge so we could both get out of here. But see me, I dropped a cog from the machine in the water over there. Can you swim? <coughs> Basically, the first challenge is to get this bridge to go across. But to, to get the man to do it for us, we have got to basically get the cog which is down here. And we can go around the shall we turn around. Oops. Oh, which managed to get away from that, that um, fish. So we've got the cog, so this is actually a really easy challenge. There's nothing to this challenge really. And now if you go to talk to a man. Excellent, I can now use this cog to repair the bridge or the machine as you see it's again sometimes. Help yourself and help each other. So basically now he will open the bridge for us. So we can continue. So that was the only task I had to really do in this level. So we did the, we did the task. There's basically one task in each level. That's about it. So, should we, do we want to save? Yes, we do. We want to save. Saving is always important in Jinx, I think. Yes, let's make a save file. Let's use the first one. Let me call myself Evil. Evil Dad. Burn. <coughs> I'm calling myself even if I want to. So. We're gonna now start the second area. There's like three areas in each level. So we're gonna start the second area now. 
So that's the first area completely done. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to these enemies are pretty nasty so oops ha ah, could do some life and we're gonna die easy okay we're good we need keys for these anyway um, what's the sign say get to the castle basically telling you there's a way to go each side each side you can't go in this yet because we have no key and you can't go in that one here because we have no key so there's only one way to go currently and it's up here reach for key and basically up here which is basically the exit so let's go and use this key on one of the dolls basically this doll now we've got another key Oh crap, oh, I didn't see that. Oh. I died again. Come on. I didn't see that stupid bomb enemy. Can't believe that bomb enemy got me. Okay. The character in this level is here. So. Come on. Doof. Get your ass here. Come on. I need to beat you. Yeah, we beat the enemy. Let's click stars. I will probably die several hundred times in this in this game. I always do, but I don't care. It's a fun game. It's a really fun game. Okay, what's this say? This is a bounce pad. Walk across it and be launched into the air. Body, body, body. I do know that. Okay, so basically jump on it. And it will launch you into a Vampire's Triangle button. And it will free this level's guy. Well, character basically. Guy just sounds pretty retarded. Come on, Jinx, come on. What, what we're gonna, what's the next task? Hey, thanks for getting me out of here. I thought I was stuck in here for good. The, the name is Matt. I must reward you. Would you like to conjure something? Yes. Way to go, little Jester dude! Turn the fan on in the main hallway. So basically, that task wasn't actually anything. You didn't have to do anything for that task. He just basically helped you get move, move on with your story. Nothing else to do in this area. Um, before I go to that, I need to see what's in this area. That is being blown on this. Or maybe nothing at all. Yeah, I, I need to do this. Okay, what's this? Once inside, the door behind you will lock and open it again. Cover the switches with the blocks. Okay. Um. So we'll see you. Little dog guy. Little dog dude is gonna die. Ha <laughs> ha. I know he died at the same time. Okay, what we need to do here is use this to jump on here. And now what we have to do is let's go to the sign, shall we? Guide to crates. Crates can be pushed around and used as platforms. Yes. To pick it up, triangle button and drop square on. So basically, triangle button will pick it up. So like what Raymond does with, with them, and then it will allow you to move on. But I don't know if I've got any of these left, so... I've got no cherry bombs left. Okay, we're gonna use another um, inventory now. The Hall of Despair. Ha ha ha! The enemy found the hall. That was pretty neat. Now does it all disappear? I can't remember. No. And we're pretty screwed. Because it just stays there. And down. And now we can go along here. Get some health. Which is always good. Get a new item. And get what we need. Okay. So if you jump down.
down here now. I've got, some, I've got some more life now. Um, what we need to do now is go back to the area. It's here. Here it is, yeah. And this works now, so we can go up here. And if you go up here and land on here, um, we can face the enemies. And beat them. Single hand. There, we beat the enemies down. Um, let's pick one of these up. These are tornadoes, basically. And they are really cool. They are really useful. I always like them. There are several different things you can collect, which are basically have, are objects to kill enemies with easier. Okay. Oh no! We found into some water! What are we gonna do? How are we gonna get out of here? Um, quite easy. What we're gonna do is collect the stars. Come to the stars. Get some health up. Lives up. Always useful. I wish Jinx could, could, could go faster. Well, I'm curious because this is our fast, I guess. And he does have like a health thing in the water. So make sure you pay attention to it. Okay. So now. Go on here. And we're on here. The platform will appear, taking you back up to the top. I think that is supposed to happen anyway. I think, as far as I know. Oh, wrong way. Okay, this is the final little room for the end of this section. So we might be able to do this in this part, maybe. I hope. Okay. Let's use that there. And you can put that one there. And now that will open up. If you press triangle button with this, it will basically push that down, allowing you to move the, move, move the block. What's this gonna tell me? I already know. Riddle, return the cogs to the machine and hit the switch, yes. I just did that, so that wasn't really much help. Come on! Come on, Jinx! You can be faster than this! You've already died three times. I'm probably gonna die hundred times with this game, seriously. And then that will lower the red bridge to go across. Checkpoint, okay. Now be careful because there's an enemy there and you don't wanna end up jumping and falling and failing. Do you know? Kill the enemy and he will leave you with nothing. Just dignity. And not maybe not even dignity, he doesn't leave you with anything. Okay, only go there if, if you can jump it. I can jump it so I did it for to get some more health. I want to go this way because I want to get them. They're always useful. So run out of them, cherry bombs. So okay, this is it. The second section is complete. So let's save. That's the second time we've saved him this one time. <laughs> Pretty funny, right? Okay, so part four, we're gonna do the third and final section of the first level, which is Memo City. <coughs> okay. So I guess that's. See you guys next time. Um, thanks for watching this. Bye bye.